Trades and applied technology students from Vancouver Island University are hard at work in sub-zero temperatures at a new housing development in South Nanaimo. Working under the direction of instructors and local construction trades, the students are getting hands-on experience framing walls and guiding the concrete pour for the foundation in what will give a family a hand up in 2017. So the Meadow Hills development is a six unit multi-family site. Uh, it's the biggest project that we've taken on with the Habitat for Humanity Mid-Vancouver Island to date. The first two homes in the development were completed in the summer of 2016. Um, well, this one's a Japanese maple that goes in a different bed. This is a the Mid-Vancouver Island chapter of Habitat for Humanity set a goal to build 20 homes by 2020. With community support, they are almost there. These two houses, completed in the summer of 2016 in Phase 1 of the Meadow Hill project, are number 15 and 16. Well, I think it's about growing capacity of an organization, and with that, a huge part of that, of course, is getting the community to ra rally around with you and understand what your mission is, understand uh, what your intentions are for the future and how what you're doing is actually benefiting the community. And when you start to convey that message successfully, people then rally around, they get excited, they want to become engaged with you, and from that you build capacity and really can become very successful. The last stage in the build saw dozens of volunteers from numerous companies and organizations toiling under the hot summer sun to add trees, shrubs and flowers before the homes would be ready for their new owners. This is a culmination of phase one of what will be a three-phase development on this site. Clearly what Habitat does is, is, is fulfilling a really important need. It's an incredible model. Um, that really benefits families that uh, are in a low income range and would never ever dream of having a home that they could call their own. In the past, I would say nine or ten years, we've probably moved about as many times. Um, some for work, some for family, uh, most for landlords. Uh, so the ability to be able to be situated in one spot without having th those worries anymore is incredible. The big event is, is seeing the families get to take possession of the keys and, and unlock the door and, and be welcomed into the new home. But it's also an opportunity to really take a look at and recognize uh, everybody in the community as far as volunteers and donors that have come together and, and lent a hand to, to make this project a, a possibility. Phase two of this development, construction of homes number 17 and 18, began in the late fall. We've got uh, great ideas for the future so we hope that we can carry on with these larger projects uh, but it's definitely been a, a learning curve and uh, a really neat uh, really neat process for, for us to undertake this time. The last two homes will be completed by December 2017 meaning they only have to build one more home to reach the goal of 20 by the year 2020. And so I think that uh rallying everybody around that mission of uh, providing more houses for families in, the, in this particular niche um, is really exciting and I think we've got a huge opportunity for growth here. Mid-Vancouver Island Habitat for Humanity began building homes in the year 2000 and to date has provided affordable home ownership to 19 families. For Go on Shaw TV, I'm Annette Lucas.